Hello, this is Channel Easy Self Host. In this video, we are going to run Copia, an automatic backup application that can help you backup your data, and especially your self-hosting application data. Copia supports scheduling and running script before and after the backup, which make it very easy to deal with the data of a running application. It also supports cloud storage system out of the box. Here I'm going to show you how to regularly backup a Vault Warden server with Copia and it applies to other applications or simply directories. Now let's get started to set up our Copia server. We're going to run Copia as a service and give it access to all the data we want to backup. Here at the beginning, we are still including the Docker network we set up for our proxy server, because Copia has a web UI to configure the backup. In the volume section, we first need a config volume to store Copia configs. Next, we're going to include the Docker volumes we want to backup. I'm storing my Vault Warden data in a Docker volume, so I'll just include it as an external volume here in Copia. If you store your application data directly on the host file system, you don't need to include any volumes here. For the Copia service, we are using the official Copia Docker image. We are exposing the port 80 for the Copia web UI, and we connect to the proxy network so we can access the web UI through our proxy server. Then we need to set up the commands for the Copia server. We need to do this because Copia is more than a server application. It can just be used as a command line application, but we want to use it as a server here. Among the arguments, we set up the server to listen on port 80 on all the IP addresses. The port should be the same port we expose. We also need to set up the server username and the server password for login. The password parameter is for an existing backup repository that you can skip here. For the volume section, we first need to mount the config volume to the config directory. Next, we are mounting a script in the same directory to our container. The script can start and stop other Docker containers. This is useful because when we are backing up an application, we want it to be stopped so the data is settled. The script will send start or stop requests to the Docker socket, so we are also going to mount the Docker socket in the host to the container. Then we are going to mount the docker volume or the path we want to backup to the container. Here I am mounting it to a directory under slash backup. We also need to update our proxy configuration. I am using caddy so I add a caddy rule to map the domain copia.home.easyselfhost.com to the copia service. After this, let's go to the server command line and go to the directory that has the copia docker compose file. From here we run docker compose app d to start the service. We also need to refresh our proxy rule. For me, I'll just restart the caddy server. Also, my Vault Warden server is already running. Now we can go to the domain for our Copia server. And then we we'll enter our server username and server password. Then we are in the Copia web UI and setting up our backup repository. The repository is a place we want to store our backup data. We can store our data in other directories, network share, or many kinds of cloud storage systems. Here I'm going to choose the classic Amazon S3, and I'm going to quickly set up an S3 bucket in the AWS console, and also create the cloud credentials for Copia to access the bucket. You can skip this part if you already have a storage system for backup or you know how to set up one. In the AWS console, we can go straight to the S3, and here we click Create Bucket. In the Bucket Setup page, the first thing we need to do is to give the bucket a unique name. We can leave the rest of the settings as default. And then we can click Create Bucket. So now we have a bucket, and we also need credentials for Copia to access this bucket. And we're going to create an IAM user for that. So let's go to the IAM dashboard. And under the Users tab, we click Create User. Here you can specify any username you want. And then we need to create a user group for our user to have access to our S3 bucket. Here in the permission policies, we can search S3 and select Amazon S3 for access. Remember to select this user group and then go to the next step. After the user is created, let's go to the user detail and then click Create Access Key. Here you can select third party service and click Next. Now we have the access key and the secret access key for Copia to access the bucket. And we can copy them to the corresponding field in Copia. And let's also fill in the bucket name and the server endpoint. 
And now we can click next to create our repository. And then you will also need to set up a very safe repository password to encrypt your data. After the repository is set up, we can now set up our backup. We are going to backup the Vault Warden server data, which is the passwords we set. Then we click New Snapshot. Here we enter the path of the Vault Warden data. We can click Estimate to see how much data we have. Then we have all these configurations for our backup strategies. Like you can customize the retention policies. I'm going to leave that as a default and instead configure the scheduling. We can type the time of the day we want to backup our data. And then you can preview the upcoming backup time. I didn't get my time zone right, so here I can spot the difference. You can configure the time zone for the container to make this consistent. Then I'll configure the snapshot action to stop the container before backup and start the configure after the backup. We can run our script like this to stop the Vault Warden container. And the same is for starting the container after the snapshot. And then we are good to go and we can click snapshot now to test run our backup. After a few seconds, our backup is done. And then we can go to the bucket and see there is data written to it. All the data is encrypted so you cannot see any file structure. Now we know how to configure and do the backup. And we also need to know how to restore our data. To do that, let's create a directory on our server to export the backup data. And we also need to mount this directory to the Copia container. And then rerun the Docker Compose. In the backup export directory, let's also create a directory specifically for Vault Warden. In the Copia Web UI, we click the Vault Warden path and click the backup we want to restore. Here we can see all the files for Vault Warden. And here let's click Restore Files and Directories. Here we specify the export directory we set up in the container. And then click Begin Restore. Now we can go to the server command line again and check if the restore files are in place in our directory. And here are the files we restore from the cloud. That's all for this video. Please consider subscribing for content like this. You can find the configuration files in this video on GitHub and the link is in description below. Thank you for watching.